Hello, uh, my name is Mark Leachens. Uh, I live here in the country. Um, my address is Murdoch, Nebraska. I'm a fifth generation farmer. My great great grandfather settled, uh, homesteaded a quarter, a mile and a half from here. And uh, so we're trying to carry on with the farming tradition. Um, we started no tilling back in uh, 84, and uh, I've experimented with strip till back uh, probably 10 years ago and about five years ago I got this uh, Waco strip till cart and uh, toolbar with a Montag uh, fertilizer cart behind it and I've been strip tilling ever since I got that strip till my corn and uh, have been trying some different uh, fertilizer mixes in those strips. Um, this year I tried three different dry mixes um, along with putting some anhydrous on. I've uh, tried urea and ammonium sulfate as a mix. I've tried uh, urea and 1152 and I've tried ammonium sulfate and 1152. Um, always trying to keep my nitrogen levels um, about the same in all three different applications. So that's not the variable, it's the different fertilizers then that um, I'm comparing. I even tried one farm without any dry because my dry machine quit working for a few acres. So I'll have four different uh, things to try or to check this fall when I do some yield checks. And uh, um, some of the advantages I've found for strip tilling are moisture conservation. We found that the, since I do farm in the hills, we farm in an area that's very close to the Platte River and the Missouri River. I'm about, oh, three miles from the Platte River and I'm about 20 miles from the Missouri River. But you couldn't tell we're in a river bottom because it's very hilly around here. So in our hills, we have a lot of runoff. And uh, we use terraces, and uh, with these strips going around the contour of the hill, we feel that it catches a lot of the water that would normally run down the hill into the terrace and, and off the farm. So we think that's an advantage. And I like putting my, especially my nitrogen, in the ground. And um, now we're also putting phosphorus in the ground as well. And uh, with the EPA the way it is, that might be a good thing for the future um, to prevent runoff into the streams and rivers. And uh, also, I, we, like, we like the looseness of the soil um, in the strip. I've dug up corn plants that are two to four inches tall and have roots over a foot tall already because they found that strip, they found the nutrients, and... Uh, they must like what they're finding with root growth like that. Um, there are some problems with it too. You've got to watch on turn rows going up and down the hills, getting erosion in your strips. But what I've done there is I've, uh, I just don't go as deep when I'm going up and down the hills doing turn rows. And that has seemed to help a lot. Um, it's kind of a compromise, I guess. So, um, then to complement my strips, um, we use a starter package on the planter and uh, um, just trying to get as much nutrient to that seed as we can. Putting a little nitrogen on, but mostly phosphorus. And then I use, well, the reason I like starter, I don't think it gives you a good, big yield boost. It maybe dries your crop, but it gives you an opportunity to put things down right next to the seed where that's the only time you can put them on. And so we use a micronutrient pack to put on some micronutrients. I use some humates and uh, some sugars. Um, and uh, I also put down something for uh, Goss's wilt for plant health help prevent gosses wilt because it seems like it it uh, starts early um, or it can start early so I try and get a jump on it by putting something down with the seed 
And uh, so I think uh, that's a nice compliment, starter fertilizer to strip tilling. I don't know that it's ne absolutely necessary, and uh, but I think they work pretty well together. And then I'd like to move on to cover crops in the future. I haven't done that yet, um, but I think uh, putting cover crops would would be another added benefit for erosion control and also improving your soils. So. Um, uh, so far, I've been pretty pleased with strip till, although it does take time and it takes a lot of horsepower. I've got a big 450 horse tractor pulling this 16 row unit and it's all at once. So um, uh, it does take horsepower. And, uh, but I'm just a farmer trying to improve my soils and uh, I'm thinking strip till is maybe one of the ways to help do that. So I thank you for your time.